Yo guys, this is Delirious Sanity and today I am coming at you with the top 10 most interesting mods. Yes, most interesting. Not the best mods, but the most interesting. First and foremost, if this video helped you out in any way, shape, or form, it would definitely help me out if you subscribed. And uh, if you checked out my other videos, it would help you out because it's just informing you a lot of useful information on all of these mods that are coming out I try and do every good and mediocre mod so I try and I try and test you know a large pool of them and uh, I will continue to do so any requests let me know in the comments down below anyway let's get on with this video shall we the first one is giant dog meat it's just really fun and interesting because it's a giant fucking dog and he tramples on everything, and it's, it's awesome. I mean, I was having a blast with it, man. I mean, he does get stuck in trees and occasionally, but, I mean, he'll respawn back with you if you keep moving. But, uh, I mean, that's just another thing to laugh about. Like, I was, like, looking for dog meat. Well, where is he at? And he's fucking stuck in these trees, and I was laughing my ass off. You will enjoy this mod, and you will, you will laugh at least two times. I guarantee you that. The second one is called the Spiker legendary PS4 exclusive this one is a railway rifle with a very nice scope and a lot of attachments on it and it shoots harpoons and just like the railway rifle it can shoot someone's head off and stick it into the post behind him which is very nice because it, it, if you don't enjoy gluing someone's foot to the ground and and they continue walking with no leg it's just I don't know what I don't know what you you do have fun with but it's very fun so you should try it out the third one is Teddy Bear Grenades. Very interesting mod. If you have any type of grenade, you can combine it with the teddy bear, and then when you throw that teddy bear out there, it goes boom and blows the fuck up just like whatever grenade you, com ah, you combined it with. This one is definitely an interesting one, but it's also a really fun one. It seems to be that all of these interesting ones are pretty fun ones, but um... Anyway, on to the fourth one. The fourth one is Eyes Expanded. This one's very interesting because I'll be using it a lot, and I'm sure, you know, you're bored of the plain old, you know, blue or green or brown eyes. This adds every type of eyes in the game. There's cat eyes, plain white eyes. I personally go with the plain black eyes. If you combine the plain black eyes with some crazy tattoos or markings or Children of Adam stuff, and you put some scars on him. I mean, he straight up looks like a demon. I mean, you can have some real fun with this mod. And it's really interesting. But anyway, let's go on to the fifth one, which is Marlboro Mansion. All of you guys enjoyed the um, Outfield Retreat, which was the trailer in Diamond City. Very detailed settlement. This one is very similar, except for it's not as claustrophobic. It's more open. There's two floors. And it is once again very, very detailed down to the knobs. And all workbench are in there. All workbenches are in there. There's a cooking station, chemistry station, weapon station, armor station, you know, all that fun stuff. And they're all kind of hidden ish, which is really cool. Like, I believe the cooking station is your oven, and the chem, the chem station is, uh, like just this table with some, some science stuff on it, and then. What's also very cool about this mod is it adds a plastic surgery chair in your bathroom. So you can sit down in this chair and like perform all kinds of surgery on yourself without having to go and pay for it in Diamond City. You can change your hair, your makeup, your eyes, whatever you want to change. Which is very cool because I mean that's what we do in bathrooms besides take shits and take showers. Is you know do our hair you know do whatever the hell you want to do as a as a woman or a man you know do your makeup whatever the fuck you want to do in the bathroom you can now do it anyway on to the next one which is going to be the sixth one it's called OC decorator this one is once again very interesting because I'll be using it a lot and it's also very cool because I've been waiting for this mod for a very long time and a lot of you builders if you haven't already played this with this one which I'd be surprised if you didn't you really should if you're a builder, this is definitely a mod for you. This mod allows you to have whatever you have. If you have potatoes, nuka cola, you can place it down perfectly straight wherever, on whichever shelf you want, and it cannot be knocked down. 
So if you ever lined up some freaking guns or some nuka colas and your sailors came through and knocked them all down and you got pissed off and shot the shit out of them, killed them in front of everyone else, and it was a bloody massacre just because they knocked down your nuka cola, you no longer have to worry about that. Congratulations. Your nuka cola will still uh, will stay safe on that shelf. The seventh one is Draken Vale Manor. This one is definitely one of the most interesting ones because it's a settlement mod, so you can live here and it's just badass it's a giant castle on top of a giant mountain it has all kinds of detailed stuff on the inside and the outside also looks very gorgeous there's a huge waterfall going off it's a cool hike up there and also definitely last but definitely not least it's got a fucking badass roller coaster that goes around the mountain and through the mountain and yes, you can ride the roller coaster, which really surprised me. Like, this mod just completely blew my mind, and I love it. The eighth one is Mini Nuke SMG. Wherever that may be. Yeah, that rhymed it. But anyway, uh, Mini Nuke SMG is a fully automatic Mini Nuke. What's not interesting about that? If you're one of those people who says, eh, fuck those OP weapons, you know, I'm one of those people too. But I really like this weapon because I don't use it seriously. I'm not going to take on the toughest death claws with it. I just like to get on top of a huge building and blow the fuck up out of everything. It's so amazing, and if you haven't tried a fully automatic mini nuke, then you're really missing out on life. But anyway, the ninth one is called Simple Green, and yes, I'm sure you've all have heard of it. But this one had to be on the list because it's definitely one of the most interesting. You could download only this mod and no other mods and you'd still feel like you have a whole new game at hand. Because it just really brightens the game. It adds flowers and, and uh, you know, leaves on the trees and grass on the ground. And it's somewhat realistic because we're here 200 years after the bombs. And if you knew, if you have... Uh, investigated what happens when when a nuke goes off around two to three hundred years is when everything starts blooming again and we are a, uh, like 220 250 years after the bomb fell so this is realistic if you're thinking like fuck you it's not realistic well then just research nukes but anyway uh on the last but definitely not the least i don't have a picture of it because i don't have it installed right now because it's just, it's quite a large mod, but it is very, very fun. You will very much enjoy it. It's called Avgrund Dodds Vol. You spell it A V G R U N D space D O D S F A L L. Kind of a tricky word. But anyway. This mod is very in-depth, very detailed. You'll have a lot of fun with it. It'll take you a lot of time to beat it. It's almost as if it's like a DLC made straight from Fallout. Because if you watch my video on it, you will find I got irritated and was like, Oh my god, Jesus Christ, this is fucking... This is a pain. It just reminds me of the first time that I played Fallout 4. Or Fallout for that matter. It's like going into something open-minded and then you get fucked. And then you respawn and you do it again because it's really fun and you enjoy dying I don't know how that works out but it's fun it's very fun <clears throat> first of all if you want to find out where it is go ahead and check out my video on it uh, I do part one and part two but in part one I show you where it's at it took me an hour and a half to find it and then still a friend had to send me a picture of it to tell me where it was and it still took me even like a few minutes after that to find it my two warnings about it is it will take you a while took me about an hour if you're really good and fast it'll take you about 30 minutes the other warning is bring good weapons that I mean there's not gonna be like a million death claws or something but there's some enemies and uh, don't go into it blindly like I did it, it, it will haunt you for the rest of your nightmares I mean I'm not gonna spoil it anyway guys if you didn't want to watch my video on it, it's southwest of Sanctuary in the Glowing Sea. The Glowing Sea is quite large though, so good luck finding it. But anyway guys, I appreciate you watching my videos. Happy Holidays. I hope you guys had a great Thanksgiving. 
that's about it for this video if you enjoyed it please subscribe and check out my other videos enjoy your mods ladies and gentlemen and enjoy your day I'll see you in the next one. Peace out, guys.